Hello, I'm Claire Smith and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a tag video. I've been tagged to do the Smells of Summer by Chantelle Tiffany. Chantelle's created this tag and I really, really enjoyed her video and I really wanted to do it as soon as I saw the video. So this tag gets you to think about your summer memories and associate a perfume with those memories. So I'm going to concentrate on my memories of summers as a child because to me that is a very evocative time. I can really remember very distinctly just loving being at home in the summer and having that huge summer holiday sprawling out in front of me. So the first scent memory that is associated with summer for me is going round to see my next door neighbour. So we kind of met through the fence. Philip was about a year younger than me and we had birthdays around the same time of year. And we just started chatting through the fence and then we would climb a tree each so that we could talk to each other over the fence and we would collect things and pass each other things through the fence. And then eventually we got up the courage and the sense to just ask our parents whether we could go around each other's houses and actually play together. And I was always amazed by his house and also by his garden. His mum had a beautiful garden and she had loads and loads of herbs. And I remember Philip would try and impress me by eating herbs as kind of a dare to show me that he could. And I just thought he was so cool. And he would also show me around his house and his dad had a really big office. He had huge wooden cabinets full of things that he'd collected. So he had loads of weapons. He was really into guns, really into swords. And he'd had them all behind glass in this huge office. And he also had um, a collection of cigars and also a collection of medals in this cabinet. So when I think about being at Phillips, I think about him eating the sage and I also think about him showing me this office that was full of all these beautiful things that smelled kind of dusty and old, but also woody. And the fragrance to me that evokes those memories is Stash by SJP. This fragrance just takes me instantly back to being in that room looking at all those weapons and seeing all these shiny, beautiful things that I had never seen before in anybody's house or, or even knew existed. And yeah, eating the sage with Philip in the garden for the first time and thinking, is this going to kill me? Because I didn't know that you could just eat random things from a garden. But yeah, Stash by SJP is a perfectly unisex perfume. Definitely one you can share with your boyfriend. It's really kind of herby, but also woody. And in the dry down, it becomes a little bit sweeter as well. It's just a really stunning, very unexpected scent from a celebrity perfume. So that stash by SJP reminding me of being around my next door neighbor's house, looking at things I probably shouldn't have been. So the next perfume is probably very particular to me. And what this scent reminds me of is pretty unexpected, I think. You know, in the, in the summer, I would spend literally hours playing 8-bit gaming on my Sega Master System 2 as a child. So the Sega Master System 2 I think came out in 1990 and I got it for Christmas one year and that was it. That was all my spare time just spent trying to get to the next level on Alex the Kid or Sonic the Hedgehog or whatever else other game that I was playing, Psychic World, any of them. So I would spend so long on that machine and it would get really, really hot and kind of smell a little bit like it was, you know, going to blow up. Um, you had to spend hours on it because you couldn't save anything. So as soon as you, you died, you just had to go back to the beginning again. So it was a really frustrating way of gaming because you just have to do the entire game all in one go. So you would literally be sitting there for hours, which is really not great for children. But I suppose, it, you know, it, it whirled away the days, didn't it, in the summer sometimes. Not all the time, but quite a bit of the time, let's be honest. So the perfume that reminds me of the smell of my Mars System 2 overheating is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. So this perfume has a lot of violet in it, but it's more like a violet leaf. But it also has grapefruit. Um, but really, to me, the thing that reminds me of the, the burning smell or the hot electrical equipment is that kind of ozonic feeling from this fragrance. It's got that kind of welding smell that you get when ozone, ozone's being generated, that kind of electrical spark smell. And yeah, I, I like Daisy. I think it's, you know, it's much maligned, but it's, it's a very refreshing kind of fragrance. It's gone in a matter of nanoseconds. It's got no lasting power whatsoever. 
but it's a it's a classic in many ways and no one talks about it because it's not cool to like Daisy is it but yeah you know it's not a love I like it um and yeah it reminds me of hot electrical equipment so that's Daisy by Mark Jacobs so the next situation that I think of with the smells of summer is going to visit my grandparents. So my grandparents lived about 200 miles away from where I lived. So if I was going to go see them, I would stay for maybe a week or two and then my parents would come pick me up. And I absolutely adored, I mean like worshipped my grandmother. She, she was just spent so much time with me. She would play with me for absolutely hours. And yeah, she just held a very special place in my heart. And I would go to stay with her and my grandfather. She was a very traditional lady. She would not fully get dressed in the mornings and she would wear kind of work clothes to do her house chores because that's what people did when she was growing up in the in the 20s and 30s. And then around, I don't know, maybe 11 or 11.30, she would put on her makeup and her nice dress and then she'd just sit down for the day and she'd be done with all her housework. And I would always sit on the bath and wait for her to be done with putting her makeup on. And then, you know, the smell of the makeup and the smell of her with... She always wore a lot of talcum powder as well. I just think about when I used to kiss her and the smell of her face with the makeup and the talcum powder and the cleanliness. Um, it just reminds me totally of this perfume. So this is Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez and it's the Poudre version and this just smells just like my grandmother's skin. So it's just, it's rosy, it's fresh, it's clean, it's powdery, just most especially it's powdery. It's a beautiful perfume, this one. It's really classy smelling and yeah, it, I just, it just takes me straight back to kissing her cheek. So yeah, that's definitely a summer memory for me, you know, staying with my grandmother and the smell of her skin. So that's Narciso Eau de Parfum Poudre. So another place we used to go in the summer on day trips was to the seaside. We didn't live that far from the seaside, maybe 40 minutes by car. And we used to go to a place called Hunstanton, which is also known as Sunny Honey. And that was just a really old fashioned seaside resort. It has really interesting red cliffs. They're very distinctive. If I can find them, I'll put a picture up. And yeah, it's just a really kind of traditional place to be, really. They had a, a an old-fashioned fairground, which I loved going on the, the carousel. And my parents would always take me to the playground and then we'd get an ice cream and maybe walk along the beach. It would always be a Mr Whippy. It would always be vanilla. So the perfume that reminds me of getting my Mr Whippy is this one. So it's Metal Wave by All Saints. This is a relatively new perfume in my collection. I'm wearing it, wearing it for the first time today. Um, so far, I, I'm really loving it. I've been really surprised by this fragrance. I looked at the notes before I bought it and I almost didn't buy it. But yeah, I think it's really poorly named this fragrance because I don't really get anything metallic about it whatsoever. And to me, it's just a very light, woody, but mainly vanilla perfume. And it really does remind me of those Mr Whippy ice creams because of the strong vanilla note that I smell in this perfume. So... Yeah, Metal Wave by All Saints. And then the final summer memory that I have is of being in the garden. I used to spend hours in our garden. We had loads of different vegetables. My dad was always really keen to grow vegetables in a vegetable plot that we had. And we'd have a wall of beans. We'd grow tomatoes in the greenhouse. We'd always have a row of spuds for new potatoes. We'd have sometimes cucumbers, marrows, courgettes. And we would also grow spring onions, but also for loads of fruit. So we always had apples and pear trees and we had cherry trees. We had an apricot tree, plum trees, you name it, we had it. And we also had blackcurrant bushes and the blackcurrants grew right by the greenhouse and they were underneath a walnut tree. So the blackcurrants, even on the hottest day, were super, super cool. And that cool kind of damp smell of the blackcurrant leaves mingling with the ripening black currants and the warm kind of humid air of being on a hot summer's day underneath some trees is really evoked by this perfume for me. So this perfume is Marc Jacobs Oh So Decadent and also around the greenhouse we also had ivy growing. So this perfume really is perfect. 
It just sends me straight back to standing outside the greenhouse. This perfume is really kind of fresh smelling, but it also has blackcurrant and it also has an ivy note. It's just, it's just like it was made to give me this scent memory of being in the garden. This perfume also makes me think of having refreshing drinks in the garden, sparkling drinks. I remember my parents would always drink Pims and gin and various other alcoholic drinks in the garden and they would always make me a non-alcoholic version. So yeah, like drinking carbonated drinks in the garden um, definitely evoked by this fragrance. The blackcurrant in this is really subtle as well and it's just like an unripe blackcurrant and more like the blackcurrant leaves. It's very evocative to me of being in a kitchen garden with loads and loads of different things growing and the coolness of the garden and the, the shade of the garden as well. So that's Marc Jacobs Oso Decadent, my last summer scents memory. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, then please press the like button and please consider subscribing because I do these kinds of videos all the time. And I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments about your own summer memories. Do you have anything that really stands out to you that you know that there's a fragrance that you would totally associate with a, an amazing summer memory? I'd love to know. Please drop it below if you, if you do have a summer memory. So I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you want to do this tag, then please do. I think it would be most welcome and really interesting to everybody else. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.